I mean, when I when I began uh, eating a primal or paleo lifestyle, I mean, one of the most important tenets of of, of eating paleo is finding good sources of organic and grass-fed uh, meat, and organic vegetables, fruit, etc. And we have in our own backyard, we have you know a wonderful islander in the name of Ray Lou, who who has dedicated his life to organic farming. And yet, in the you know, for most of us, we slip out to the farmers market, pick up our sausage and a couple of other things that we think we need, and pass by them on our way to the superstore to go, you know, line the pockets of of big business and you know large farmers who, who quite frankly are not very concerned about what goes into the diet of uh, of their cattle or of their of their livestock and if we are designed to to eat as naturally and holistically as possible then it only stands to reason that we need to eat animals who are fed and raised as holistically as possible so I look at uh, someone like Raymond Liu as a hero in our midst. I look at him as a potentially uh, one of our new pioneers. You know, we talk about being an island and being, you know, this strong, hardy, self-reliant people. Well, our recent history dictates anything but that. But there was a time when my grandfather and my great-grandfather um, uh, lived a very self-sufficient lifestyle. So I think that by a community um, uh, coming together in support of ourselves, because that's what it is, we're not doing anything uh, for Raymond that he, that he wouldn't be doing for us. We're helping mm -hmm. Raymond help ourselves by supporting someone uh, like him to, you know, buy livestock raise them in, a, in the most natural way possible, and then in turn provide it back to us to feed our families and our, and our community.